Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today you are watching Web API Benchmarking WRK.NET 6 VS.NET 6 Minimal VS Rust Arctic Web. So today this is the continuation video of the previous video that I did where we benchmark the same systems again. Uh, and uh, we saw that uh, with the WRK tool, the um, .NET was faster than Rust. So I looked into this uh, and uh, due to the fact that uh, I had a request to test again the .NET uh, framework and not the .NET minimal, in this video we will benchmark all three systems again with the WRK. But uh, the, the main essence of this video is that I looked into why .NET is, uh, was faster or if indeed it was faster or I made a mistake or whatever. But uh, the result is that indeed it seems that the .NET is quite fast and uh, it seems even faster than Rust. But uh, during my experiments uh, I saw uh, the resources that the systems need and uh, we will monitor the resources too in this video. So let's get into the video quickly. We will benchmark and see the results. There's no point in the losing any more time. So these are the systems. Nothing is running. So let's come here and we will uh, run in release mode. So this is up. Uh, this is up and cargo run release. This is up. There are some warnings because I normalized the data in order to be 100% sure that uh, I have exactly the same data for all the systems. So let's check that. This is the normal API. We have first name, last name, age and framework. I added these uh, characters at the end because I normalized the data here. All the systems serve 16 uh, characters strings. So this is the minimal one, age, first name, last name, framework. And also I added an A here to make it 16 characters. And this is the Rust API. ID, age, first name, last name, framework. So we have uh, the same amount of data. So let's get into the benchmarking. Let me get the commands. This is uh, the command. We will use six threads, 1000 concurrent connect, uh, open connections, and we will benchmark for 40 seconds. This is the command that we will use for all the systems. So let me start, but before starting, let's see if we are in place here. Yes, and we are in place here. Uh, I don't think we need this. Let's let's kill this. Exit, yes. Yes, we are ready. So I will start benchmarking and uh, we will bring this uh, to, to check the, our resources. So start and this. We are running in release mode as you can see, bin release and we see that uh, .NET needs 2.3 gigabytes of memory and the CPU is about to 80%. This is the, the graph of the resources and this is uh, here the same as you can see uh, 2.39 uh, memory, so we're at 2.3 gigabytes for all these processes and you see that uh, many processes get uh, run. Uh, we're done, yes we're done. So let's run our command on the minimal API, copy. Uh, six threads, 1040. So we are correct. So let's start benchmarking. And let's see again what happens here. 
The minimal web API needs approximately the same memory, 2.3, yes. CPU is at the same levels. The graph is the same, 2.1 now. And you see how many processes are getting uh, run here. You see? All these processes get run. Which is very nice. So we are done here. We have our result. And let's benchmark our third API. Six threads, 1000 connections, 40 seconds. Let's start, let's bring this and let's bring this too. Uh, our CPU here, you see, we have huge differences in the resources. Our CPU is about 40% and we are only using 120 megabytes of memory. So we are orders of magnitude uh, less in resources. The graph is different. We are uh, approximately at half of the CPU usage. As you saw here, 39 currently. And we are done now. Um, since we are here, let's check the usage at idle. So, as you can see, the .NET APIs need a substantial amount of memory out of the box. Even with zero load, we need more than 2 gigabytes of RAM in order to, to run the process, which is huge. And let's check our uh, API. Where is the API? This is it. This is the Rust process. And it only needs 25 megabytes to run the process at idle. And as we saw, about 120 megabytes at full load. So let's go up regarding the resources. As you can understand, we have a huge difference. So let's go to the results. Let's start here. This is the normal API. Latency 77. Uh, the minimal has 73 latency, which is better here. Requests per second, uh, 2.19. Requests per second for the minimal API, 231, better. Uh, total requests, 519, 547, 1000. So we are better here. Uh, request per second, uh, 12,966, 13,651, better here. Transfer rate, 1.29 gigabytes, 1.36 gigabytes. So we, we are better across the board with the minimal API, as you can see. So let's check this now with Rust and see what we come up. Latency 73, latency for Rust 77, which is the same as the normal API. So better here. Uh, the max latency is better for Rust. As you can see, it's lower than both of the .NET APIs. Uh, so we have, uh, yeah, the max is, yeah, okay. Request per second, 2.3 here, 2.03. So the minimal API wins in requests per second. The max request per second were 2.62 here, 4.56 here, which is very impressive overall for the .NET. Uh, total requests, uh, 577,000, uh, 486,000, so we are better here with a substantial uh, amount of requests. 
and requests per second 13,600, 12,130. So we are better here. Transfer rate 1.36, transfer 1.21 gigabytes. So again, we see that uh, indeed the .NET minimal API and .NET in general is quite fast. Uh, it handles concurrency very well, which is very impressive. And again, kudos to the .NET creators. Uh, I didn't manage to find any way to optimize better, uh, to optimize further the Rust uh, Actix Web API. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time, of course, on it, but uh, yeah, the result is uh, that regarding speed, uh, .NET wins. All my tests show that uh, .NET wins under heavy load, heavy concurrent load, because the AB, the Apache Bench tool, uh, loaded differently the um, the systems. The WRK tool provides more uh, concurrent load, so. Indeed, .NET wins, let's say, regarding speed, but we saw the huge differences regarding the resources. .NET needs uh, two, two point something uh, megabytes to run, gigabytes, sorry. As you can see at idle still, we are more than two gigabytes. And the Rust API needs 25 megabytes at uh, a title and about 20, 120 when we are benchmarking. Here it is, as you can see, 120 megabytes, which is a huge difference. It's gigantic difference, I would say. So, yeah, the my thoughts are, uh, yeah, we saw that speed the uh, .NET is is faster. But overall, uh, again, I would uh, bet on Rust, uh, both for the, um, the low uh, resources consumption. Uh, when you are, uh, you know, in uh, a cloud provider, this is a, a huge deal breaker if you need so much memory to, to run your process. Uh, this is uh, one point. And the other point is, of course, the safety that I have been stressing uh, again and again so for these two reasons i would uh, choose definitely rust regard uh, regardless the speed that, uh, that we show yeah these were my thoughts uh, i hope uh, you find them useful too uh, thank you for watching and have a, uh, have a nice day